Hello everyone, I'm Shamant Gowda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the question of the day series. This question was given as the bouncer in the last video. This is, this I'm going to solve now. The question says, pipe A can fill a tank in 8 hours and B in 6 hours. Okay. Let's consider this as a tank which has been fitted with two pipes. I'll call this as A, this is B. This A can fill it in how many hours? 8 hours. This B can fill it in 6 hours. Very similar question in the last video I have explained in this way. A can complete a piece of work in 8 hours. B can complete the same work in 6 hours. Very similar concept. Okay. Previously it was asked in time and work here it's pipes and system. Okay. The topic name changes but the concept remains here also same. How to solve this one? You guys are very much familiar. We have to take the LCM of these two. 8 and 6 is 24. And 24 here it is the total units of the capacity of the tank. Means in this tank you can hold 24 units. This 24 units is filled in 8 hours means every hour only 3 units filled. This is called efficiency. Similarly here also 4 units filled. Efficiency of B. Efficiency of A is 3 units, B is 4 units. Means every 1 hour A can fill 3 units, B can fill 4 units. That's what efficiency, okay. That's what I have explained in the previous video also. 3 and 4. Now, they have to work on alternate hours. Alternate hours, see, they are opened on alternate hours starting with A. Starting with A means, see, first hour A comes and fills 3 units. Second hour B comes and fills 4 units. Again A, 3, B, Okay. For every 2 hours, if you look inside the tank, see, for every 2 hours, how many units are filled? For every 2 hours, 7 units are filled. For every 2 hours, if it is 7 units, in the previous video, I multiplied here, exactly I got the answer. But if I multiply 7 with any of the number, I will not get 24 here. That is why what I will do is, I will take the closest multiple which is 3. Here also I will put 3. So, meaning is after 6 hours, if you look inside the tank, you will be having 21 units filled. See, look here, 3 plus 4, 7, this is 10, 14, again if you fill 3, that is 17 and again 4, that is 21, isn't it? See, 3, again 4, 21 units, isn't it? So, 6 hours gone, 21 units filled. After 6 hours, who is going to come? A, B, A, B. A, B and this is A, B and the next hour who has to come? A. If A comes and fills for one full hour, it can fill 3 units which is nothing but plus 3, 24 units filled in how many hours? Totally 7 hours. So, the answer is C, 7 hours. And guys, this is today's question. You have to divide rupees 391 in this given ratio. 1 by 2 is to 2 by 3 is to 3 by 4. I will tell you how to. 1 by 2 is to 2 by 3 is to 3 by 4. Okay, this is the ratio which is in fraction. Okay, how to convert this into integers here? 1 by 2 is to 2 by 3 is to 3 by 4. You take such a number which is completely divisible by 2, 3 and 4 which is nothing but LCM. LCM of 2, 3, 4 is 12. I will multiply this LCM by this half 1 by 2 of 12. Similarly, into 12, into 12 if I multiply. 1 by 2 of 12 is nothing but 6. That is what I am writing here 6. Similarly, 3 into 4 times 4 into 2 is 8. Okay, here 4 into 3. 3 into 3 is what here? 9. Okay, so you have to divide the total money in the ratio 6 is to 8 is to 9. 6 to 8 is to 9 means this is 6 parts. He is getting 8 parts and this person will get 9 parts. Similarly, see, add these 3. 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 8 is 23. If I divide the whole money, rupees 391 into 23 parts, 1 part is 17. If 1 part is 17, 6 parts are 6 into 17, this is 8 into 17 and this is 9 into 17. 6 into 17 is 102, 136 and 153. Okay. This is the division of 391. And guys, this is your bouncer. I have taken very similar question. Try to answer this question and put the answer in the comment section. Thank you. We will see you in the next video.